Throughout time, old writings and records have always grabbed our attention and left us wondering. Some of the coolest are those found deep in the old catacombs. Recently, they made an amazing find down there that has both historians and archaeologists buzzing. Stay tuned, because we're about to dive into the hidden mysteries of the catacombs and uncover the amazing stories they have to tell. Keep watching. 1. Footage of Missing Man in Catacombs How about a story that sent shivers down your spine? Consider the case of found footage, much like the eerie vibes from the Blair Witch Project. Even though part of you screamed, it's just a movie, another part whispered, but could it be real? Deep within the chilling expanse of the Paris catacombs, there was footage that puzzled everyone who saw it. It was mainly shots of rooms stacked with bones, signaling that the person behind the camera ventured far into the catacombs' heart. The twist, he was utterly alone. Then, out of nowhere, he started running. His breaths grew ragged, his pace quickened, and suddenly the camera dropped with a splash. Footsteps echoed away and then silence. Was it a true scare or just a well-crafted hoax? Here's where it got murky, nobody knew for sure. Sources like the 13th floor mentioned that this footage was supposedly filmed in the 1990s and discovered later by catacomb explorers. It was featured in documentaries and aired on TV, yet it remained unverified and mysterious. No one stepped forward to shed light on its origins, and vast stretches of the catacombs were still closed to the public. What secrets were lurking in the shadows down there? 2. There's a gate of hell below, and the catacombs extend from there. There's a spot in Paris that's literally called the Gate of Hell. Cool name, right? It's one of the key entrances to the famous Paris catacombs. Situated at Place d'Enfer Rochereau, the Barriere d'Enfer was originally a city gate. Part of the wall of the Farmer's General, built in 1787, was designed by Claude Nicolas Ledoux and included two neoclassical pavilions used for collecting taxes on goods entering Paris. Now, about that spooky name, Barriere d'Enfer. It might have come from the street Rue d'Enfer, which some say was a hub for debauchery and robbery. Or it could be a play on words from enfer, which means of iron, pointing back to an iron door in the old wall of Philip II Augustus. Either way, it's a name that sticks, especially when you think about the dark, mysterious catacombs that begin right beneath these gates. Imagine stepping through these gates, knowing they're a portal to underground secrets from centuries past, perfect for the thrill-seekers and history buffs alike. Three. People spent a luxurious Halloween night in the catacombs. Can you imagine spending a night in the Paris catacombs? Not just any night, but a candle-lit dinner, a private concert, and even a scary story session, all arranged by Airbnb in 2015 for a splashy Halloween publicity stunt. They didn't just throw a spooky party, they went all out, dishing out over 350,000 euros to privatize this eerie underworld. Surrounded by the chilling presence of six million bones and skeletons, the lucky winners got to experience one of the most unique nights of their lives. So, how did one snag this chillingly romantic adventure? Well, it all came down to a contest where hopefuls shared why they deserved this once-in-a-lifetime stay. Out of the crowd, 27-year-old Pedro Aruda emerged victorious. And guess who he brought along? His mum. Together, they enjoyed dinner, the echoes of a private concert, and a hauntingly good story that undoubtedly made their Halloween unforgettable. 4. Underground Cinema in Paris Catacombs A full-blown underground cinema hidden away in the Paris catacombs in 2004. This wasn't just a few chairs and a makeshift screen. We're talking about a large screen, projector, and seating for about 20 movie lovers, all nestled 18 meters below the bustling streets of Paris. And the cherry on top, a fully stocked bar and a cozy dining area suggest this secret spot was a popular hangout for those in the loop. The discovery came out of the blue during a police training exercise. Imagine their surprise when officers pulled back a tarpaulin to reveal a tunnel leading to this cinematic treasure trove. The setup even boasted closed-circuit television cameras and a gadget playing the sound of a barking dog to scare off unwelcome visitors. The cinema itself was set up like an amphitheater, turning an old cavern into a slice of entertainment 
segment heaven. Now, who would cook up such a bold underground project? Enter the UX group or urban experiment. This secret society is a mix of artists, architects, historians, and tech wizards who dedicate themselves to preserving and enhancing Paris's forgotten historical sites, all under the radar and without a hint of official permission or funding. But when the police came back a few days later with the French electricity board to dig deeper, they found the whole setup had vanished. The electricity and phone lines were cut, leaving nothing but a cryptic note that read, do not try to find us. Just like that, the mystery cinema was gone, adding yet another layer of intrigue to the already mysterious catacombs. How cool and eerie is that? 5. The bones in the Paris catacombs still bear hints as to how they died. Our bones were more than just scaffolding for our bodies, they were like secret diaries written in a language only a few could read. Bones stacked high in the eerie Paris catacombs, each one a whisper from the past, revealed details about how someone lived and even how they died. Cool, right? Take Philippe Charlier, a true enthusiast of the underground world and a forensic pathologist at the University of Paris. He wasn't just roaming the catacombs for the thrill, but on a quest for knowledge. Charlia showed National Geographic a skull with peculiar features, a large nasal cavity, and a grimace that seemed frozen in time. These weren't just random marks. They told a story of a battle with leprosy, and it got even more intriguing. A lesion on a vertebra could hint that the person had Malta fever, a disease passed on through animals which shed light on their daily life. Maybe they were a cheesemaker. Charlie's ability to mine secrets from these bones was astounding. He could piece together tales of healed fractures, the kind of medical care received, mishaps endured, and even the diets of those long gone. Though their voices had been quiet for centuries, their bones still had plenty to say. 6. Girl Lost in Odessa Catacombs Ever heard of the spooky story of Masha, the girl who got lost in the Odessa Catacombs? It all happened on New Year's Eve in 2005. Despite her lack of interest in the underground labyrinths, Masha and her friends decided to explore the catacombs beneath Odessa, Ukraine. As they delved into the legendary tunnels, Masha stepped away for a moment of privacy, and that's when things took a turn for the worse. She wandered off, deeper into the maze, and got utterly lost. The catacombs, known for their vast and uncharted networks, became a dangerous trap. With no food, water, or a way to reach out, Masha tried to navigate her way out, but each step only took her further into the depths. Meanwhile, her friends, thinking she had headed home, left without her. Only the next day did her absence raise alarms, prompting a frantic call to the authorities from her parents. But the rescue efforts didn't last long. The dangers and complexities of the catacombs made it too risky. Tragically, Masha's struggle ended three days later from dehydration, lost in the chilling solitude of the pitch-black tunnels. It wasn't until six months later that a group of urban explorers discovered her remains in one of the most remote sections of the catacombs. 7. Mushrooms Grown Among the Dead Did you know the French aren't just famous for their fancy meals, but also for some pretty quirky cuisine? Take the Paris mushroom, for instance. This fungus isn't just any old mushroom. It comes with a bizarre twist straight out of history. Let's dive into its strange past, shall we? The catacombs of Paris were once teeming with mushrooms, cherished by none other than Louis XIV himself. These mushrooms were then known as Rose des Prés, or Pink of the Fields. Fast forward to Napoleon's era, and something even stranger happens. The tunnels were perfect for mushroom farming with a bizarre twist. They used horse manure from the steeds of Napoleon's deserting soldiers as fertilizer. Sounds a bit gross, right? But it worked wonders. These dark, cool tunnels allowed for year-round cultivation, transforming mushroom farming into a big deal. By 1880, hundreds of farmers were working their magic underground, producing a whopping 1,000 tons of mushrooms each year. However, this mushroom empire wasn't to last. The tunnels began to deteriorate, and with plans for the metro underway, the mushroom farmers had to call it quits. Today, only a few brave souls continue the tradition of growing authentic Paris mushrooms, and they've long since moved away from the company of the dead. 8. The Heartbreaking Sculptures of a Doomed Quarryman Beyond the eerie stretch of bones, if you dared to venture into the more secluded corners, you would find not just remnants of the past, but actual masterpieces with a poignant backstory. 
From 1777 to 1782, a quarryman named François de Cure extraordinarily channeled his creativity. While taking breaks from his grueling work, de Cure didn't just rest. He transformed a small side room into his own private studio. There, he meticulously carved a series of sculptures. His most stunning piece? A sprawling cityscape of Menorca's Portman Fortress, a site where he had once been a prisoner during the Seven Years' War. This sculpture was not just any depiction. It stretched 40 feet long and sat alongside a natural water pool, making the fortress appear like a bustling port city. What was fascinating was the level of detail de Cure achieved, all from memory. Decades had passed since he last saw these places, yet his sculptures captured their essence with such complexity and grandeur. And de Cure? He was determined to share his work with the world. He was in the midst of crafting a staircase to grant easy access from the street to his underground gallery when tragedy struck. A cave-in claimed his life, cutting his ambition short. 9. Barrel of Passion They house something called the Barrel of Passion. It's not what it sounds like. There is no wine here. It is just a chilling, barrel-shaped pile made entirely of human bones and skulls. Tucked away in the spooky crypt of passion, this barrel isn't just for show. It plays a crucial role in keeping the tunnel walls sturdy. Now, why pack bones into a barrel, you might ask? Well, back in the 18th and 19th centuries, Paris had a serious issue with overcrowded cemeteries. The solution? Move millions of bones underground, making sure every inch of space in the catacombs is used wisely. But there's more to it than just stacking bones. The design of this bone barrel is symmetrical and precise, a testament to some seriously careful planning. It's become one of the go-to spots for visitors brave enough to explore the shadowy depths of the catacombs. It's a blend of death and art, a monument that whispers tales of the city's past struggles with the living and the dead. 10. Mummified Bodies in the Capuchin catacombs of Palermo, there is a vast collection of mummified bodies, some of them monks, all preserved in incredible detail. It's not every day you see something like this. This whole trend started back in the late 16th century, thanks to the Capuchin monks. They found out their catacombs had some unique mummifying mojo, thanks to the special climate conditions down there. So, what began with monks soon attracted local nobles and big shots, turning the catacombs into a VIP lounge for the afterlife, reflecting a deep connection between life and death in Sicilian culture. One of the first to undergo this mummification process was Brother Silvestro of Gubbio, who got the treatment in 1599. His preservation kicked off a traxtition that would see over 1,200 individuals end up mummified. These bodies weren't just left to dry out, they were placed on ceramic racks and sometimes even washed with vinegar to keep them looking sharp. Over time, the monks got even more sophisticated, bringing in chemicals to make sure these mummies stay preserved. Visiting the catacombs is like walking through a macabre gallery showcasing Palermo's social history. The way these folks are dressed on their Sunday best gives us a sneak peek into the fashions and fabrics of their times. If you're thinking about checking out this chilling yet captivating spot, remember that snapping photos is a no-go. It's all about keeping things respectful for the mummies and preserving their condition. 11. There are more people buried there than alive in Paris X. Initially, the largest cemetery in Paris, the Holy Innocent Cemetery, was home to over two million remains. Sounds crowded, right? But here's where it gets really interesting. After parts of this cemetery collapsed, someone had the bright idea to move these remains into old quarries beneath the city. And it didn't stop there. As other cemeteries ran out of space, they started sending their bodies down there too. Now, these catacombs are packed, and I mean packed, with the remains of over six million people. That's three times the living population of Paris itself. Walking around Paris, you'd never guess there are more people resting below you than chatting beside you. So, if wandering through a city built over millions of past lives isn't a spine-chilling thought, I don't know what is. 12. Cat Skulls Down in the depths of the Paris catacombs, explorers stumbled upon cat skulls. Yeah, cat skulls. It was discovered during a creepy crawl through the catacombs in 1896. These skulls add an extra layer of mystery and a bit of a chill to this underground labyrinth. 
Now, why on earth would there be cat skulls down there? Well, legend has it that they're a grim souvenir from a nearby restaurant's questionable menu swaps in the past. Rumor has it that the restaurant manager used cat meat instead of rabbit to cut costs and then ditched the leftovers in the catacombs. Pretty dreadful, right? But these findings do more than just give us the creeps. They remind us that the catacombs are not just Paris's final resting place for the dead, but also silent witnesses to the darker chapters of Parisian history. 13. Secret Bunkers in Catacombs During World War II, the catacombs beneath Paris became a sanctuary for the French resistance. These underground passageways allowed the resistance fighters to slip away from German forces, playing an invaluable part in the fight during the occupation of Paris. But that's not all. Let's journey to Odessa, Ukraine, where the catacombs there tell a similar tale of wartime ingenuity. In these vast, winding tunnels, Soviet partisans found a perfect hideout during the same war. These catacombs turned into a guerrilla base from where the partisans launched raids and managed to survive the relentless pursuits of enemy forces. Despite numerous attempts by the Axis powers to eliminate them with poison gas and by sealing the tunnels, the partisans held strong. The catacombs' intricate and sprawling layout made them a fortress that was nearly impossible for invaders to conquer. 14. The Terrible Tale of the Killer Torchbearer Let's dive into this eerie tale from way back in 1824, as reported by the London Journal. Alexandre Fonsonnat, just a regular torchbearer in the catacombs, somehow charmed a wealthy young widow who was clearly out of his league. Her name? Eugenie Marsac. She had many jewels and a young daughter to boot, along with her riches. Now, here's where it got twisted. Fonsonna decided to play tour guide for Eugenie and her daughter, inviting them to a catacomb adventure, all decked out in their finest, ready for a day under Paris. But here's the catch. Only Frank Hornet came back up. He even had the nerve to skip town before anyone suspected a thing. When the authorities started poking around, they discovered a grim scene. Eugenie had been taken out with a single strike to her head, and her daughter? Tragically smashed against a stone pillar. It was the stuff of nightmares. Franconard almost pulled off the perfect escape, but he slipped up by hanging onto a letter from Eugenie, penned right before her untimely death. It took seven months, but they finally caught him. And yes, justice was served in the French Revolution style. On March 7, 1825, Franck Hornard met his fate at the guillotine. 15. Crossroads with the Lower Catacombs What if I tell you it's possible to journey from the Upper Catacombs to the Lower Catacombs using a support ramp? This neat little feature gives us a peek into the complex layout of the underground city beneath our feet. Originally, the quarries were carved out mostly on one level. However, Sometimes the quarrymen went the extra mile and worked across two levels, and in the Paris suburbs you can find underground quarries stretched over five different levels. Trying to navigate that? Yeah, it's as tricky as it sounds. Now let's dive into something really cool. Beneath the paths of the Montparnasse Cemetery, the final resting place of the legendary Serge Gainsbourg, the old galleries are still bustling with echoes of the past. Here's a twist. The cemetery has moved the remains from mass graves into these underground tunnels, much like what was done in old Parisian cemeteries. But here's the deal. Instead of being neatly arranged like in a museum, the bones are just scattered all over the floor. Cataphiles, the daring explorers of these catacombs, say that walking through this section feels like stepping right on history. 16. The Perfect Heist in Catacomb can you believe there are catacombs so cool and moist, with temperatures hanging around 13 to 14 degrees Celsius and humidity nearly hitting 90% that they're perfect for a totally different activity, storing booze? These underground spaces beneath various establishments have been prime real estate for brewers and vintners to stash their wines and beers. In 2017, a group of bold thieves cooked up a heist unlike any other. They decided to tunnel into a cellar in the dead of night, aiming to swipe 300 bottles of some seriously pricey wine. Thanks to the twisty, sprawling network of tunnels, these crafty burglars managed to vanish into the shadows, making off with loot worth about $300,000. 17. The Lonely Death of an 18th Century Doorman 
In the game Assassin's Creed Unity, players got a chilling mission to investigate a murder in the Paris catacombs. The victim, Philibert Spert, he was found surrounded by a mysterious ensemble of a Bible, bottles, a satchel, beads, keys, and a shovel. It sounded like a setup straight out of a thriller. But here's where it got real. Philibert Aspert was an actual person, and his story was downright eerie. During the tumultuous times of the French Revolution, Aspert worked as a hospital doorkeeper. In 1793, he vanished off the face of the earth, or so it seemed, until a shocking discovery 11 years later. In 1804, explorers stumbled upon his remains in the catacombs, with no clear clues about his reasons for being there. Was he an adventurous soul lost on a dangerous trek through the catacombs? Or was he plotting a secret entrance into a brewery's basement? Theories abounded, but the truth remained as murky as the catacombs themselves. He was identified by the keys he carried and the distinct buttons on his jacket. Now, a gravestone marked the spot of his mysterious end, hauntingly close to a staircase that might have led him back to the world of the living. And here's a twist that tugged at the heartstrings. He perished just a few feet from escape. Could there be a more poignant or chilling end to Philibert Aspert's tale? 18. Some places in the catacomb are still unmapped. The famous catacombs were originally just stone mines in the past. That's right. Back in the day, miners kept digging in all sorts of directions, searching for more stones. Still, nobody really kept track of the extent they reached or the volume they excavated. Over time, this resulted in a complex labyrinth of unmapped tunnels snaking beneath the city. In 1938, two adventurous medical doctors, Jean Talarach and René Soutel, took it upon themselves to explore the catacombs. They managed to map out a good chunk of this underground maze, though they couldn't get to all of it. Their efforts weren't just for the sake of curiosity. This map later played a crucial role during darker times. When the French resistance needed a hidden base during the war, guess what they used? Yes, the catacombs. The map donated by Talarac and Suttle turned out to be a game-changer, helping the resistance coordinate their movements and battle strategies more effectively from this secretive underground lair. How cool is that? A piece of history, hidden right beneath our feet, playing a key role in a fight for freedom. 19. Swimming in the Catacombs of Paris Imagine slipping into secret pools in the catacombs of Paris. The water is murky, and the whole experience is shrouded in mystery, not to mention it's totally off-limits. Swimming here isn't just a dip in the pool, it's a full-on adventure. You've got to navigate through narrow, pitch-black tunnels, sometimes wading through waist-high water. But let's not forget, this thrill comes with its share of dangers. Aside from the obvious risks of navigating in darkness and the murky waters, there's the legal side of things. Swimming here is highly illegal, and getting caught could lead to serious trouble, not to mention the possibility of getting utterly lost in this underground labyrinth. Despite the risks, these catacomb pools are a cool escape during Paris's scorching heat waves. They remain a cherished secret among the city's most seasoned urban explorers. Isn't it fascinating to think about the hidden layers of a city waiting to be explored? 20. Cataphile parties. Did you know there's a whole underground party scene in the Paris catacombs? Yep, it's not your usual Friday night hangout spot. These are called cataphile parties, where Paris's most daring urban explorers, known as cataphiles, dive into the depths of the city. They're not just wandering around, though. These adventurers are partying in what used to be limestone quarries, turned into vast and slightly spooky party venues. We're talking live concerts and even underground dinner parties. Pretty wild, right? But shh, it's all hush-hush. Getting into these parties is like an adventure movie, complete with secret entrances and complex routes through hidden doors. Of course, these escapades come with a bit of risk. It's all technically on the down low, since hopping into catacombs without permission is illegal. It could land you in a maze-like tunnel with no easy way out, or worse, a hefty fine. And that's a wrap, everyone. Those were some of the most unbelievable recordings from the old catacombs. From mysterious sounds to eerie visuals, it's hard to believe what was captured on camera. Which clip gave you chills? Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel for more intriguing content like this, and hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. Thanks for watching and see you next time.